Wait, what? Let me try it again. Well, it seems like AI is not just shaping the future. It is now rewriting the history too. Ola's founder and CEO Bhavish Agarwal rolled out Kutrim, its AI chatbot in public beta on February 26th. Kutrim is Ola's first product which will be powered by its multilingual large language models. This AI works similarly to OpenAI's ChatGPT and Google's Gemini. This chatbot can assist consumers in over 10 Indian languages including Hindi, Tamil, Bengali, Marathi, Kannada, Gujarati and so on. Well, Kutrim claims that their models were trained on 2 trillion tokens with a focus on Indian data to grasp Indian culture and languages. They can comprehend 22 Indian languages and produce text in 10 Indian languages. Moreover, even at the launch event, Kruthrim stated that their AI models surpass many open source models of similar data size in various industry benchmarks, including outperforming OpenAI's GPT-4 in Indic language tasks. But when we tried it, we had a different experience altogether. The AI gave a lot of incorrect answers. It also changed the replies when we asked the same question again. And not just us, a lot of users who tried this new AI claim to have got funny and incorrect replies by the chatbot. A lot of screenshots of the same have been going viral over social media platforms. Backed by Metrics Partners India, Kutrim had secured 50 million US dollars in funding at a valuation of 1 billion US dollars, making it India's first unicorn in 2024 and also country's first AI unicorn. And with this, it becomes far more crucial for Ola to work on its AI capabilities in order to compete with its rivals. So, have you tried it? Tell us about your experiences in comments. And keep watching Money Control channel for more such videos. I looked up five balance sheets on money control. I'll do it on the fly. This took me exactly three minutes, thanks to money control. First uh, thing to come up is money control. So I don't even have to scroll down to look at it. I click and I get what I want. When I started my career, there was a huge information arbitrage between institutional investors and retail investors. The arbitrage gap between institutional and retail investor has disappeared mainly due to money control. Congratulations, money control, and thank you so much for being there. Absolutely delighted with the news that money control has overtaken the Economic Times. Money control has slowly and steadily become the go-to site for all updates. Money control has good ideas, detailed ideas, stock uh, specific ideas. Life of the uh, market is money control. In the sense that you get everything uh, what needs to be known.